Hello YouTube, this is Rubik's Cube X back again for another quick tutorial. Now I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to use software in order to start printing right out of the box with a Cube X. Now understand that in the box they give you a little card with a serial number, but that is not the software that you need. What the software you need, links in the description if needed, is actually on the Cube X or 3D system website and this software actually converts an STL file that you make from your 3D CADing software or the software they gave you in the box and that software is used with this program to take an STL which is a standard lithography image and then it takes that image slices it up and converts it to a special cube X format now I'm going to do a quick basic tutorial right now so we're going to open up a file you're going to find whatever you want to download uh, or print rather and I'm just going to do a frog because that's what I did for my first print so you click your STL because it has to be an STL and once it's on the plate if you like it zoom in and out if you like it how it looks you're good but if you don't you can use these skill tools here scaling to rotate it oh yeah sorry you have to click the object then you can rotate it how you want it and then just position it how you like it you can also scale it and later on we'll talk about the special scaling factor dealing with how STLs don't record scaling factors so for this tutorial it we do not want to do something that needs to be scaled accurately so any type of object that's more of just a showpiece works just fine so now if you have a dual extruder or a triple extruder and you want a specific color then you're going to pick one of these buckets up here so if I want to do blue I'm always going to go and pick blue and then click the object but if I want white I'm going to click there and it's going to change but you have to have the object click so I want blue because that's what's in my extruder right now and then once you have it there you click again because you have to deselect it and I feel pretty good about myself so now we're going to click build now building this is another good feature because we want a pretty decent print so we're going to do 0.25 millimeters and inside we don't need it to be we don't need it to be full so we can keep it at about thin and raft we don't need any and supports we don't need any. well honestly for the first print it's good to have raft so you do the same same um sorry same material because then you don't have to take time changing back and forth for heads heating and decreasing and i found that lines work the best for supports not points points take too long and that's all and then you click build now give it a moment or two it's only going to take about a moment and it's going to give you this little screen and when it gives you a number that's when you're done so it's going to take about 50 minutes for this frog to be printed so you push ok scroll around and you're like hey, it looks pretty good now you gotta go save print file now you have the two options for starters we're just going to start and save it with a cube cube.x or cubex sorry Later on, we'll talk about the bytes for bits file, ease for encryption, encrypted, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. So you put, you, you take that, name it what you want, plug your little flash drive in, this is my little print flash drive, then you save it here, this is another one I did, already did, and once you save it, you plug it in the printer, and you, uh, when you plug it in the printer, you actually have to plug it in the printer, before you click the file button so you're going to put the USB when you can see all the options on the home screen you put the USB in the printer you wait a moment then you click the first button then you select your file and you begin to print it well that's it for today hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys subscribe and like this video enjoy